What's up YouTube? So today we're going to be reviewing Jude's AW11 MR2. Um, it's a 1989 and we're going to walk around and tell you a little bit about it and then I'll give a driving impression after we do our walk around. So one thing that really stands out is this car's livery. So Jude, why don't you tell us a little bit about the car's livery design and how you made this? Yeah, um, my day job is a graphic designer. Um, so I just made my own wrap slash livery. Uh, it's a Fuji film inspired. I love taking photos. Uh, and I think it is very period correct. I uh, drew a lot of uh, inspiration from all JGTC cars and they all have like little slashes on them. So that's what I went with. Uh, really bright green and white. Um, that's about it. Okay, so now we're here in the back. Uh, Jude, why don't you tell us a little bit why you chose this car and then I guess a little bit about what you've done to restore the car. Okay. So it's a 4AG and mid-engine. So that's why I chose the car. Uh, something simple to work on, but also slightly peppy 114 horsepower not that much but it's all right uh, and as far as mods go short ram air intake um, KNM filter and a Dynamax exhaust um, maintenance uh, a lot has done to this car basically a whole tune-up uh, water pump uh, cooling system uh, timing belt all the spark plugs uh, distributor everything basically wow. so back to stock essentially so all OEM parts basically yeah all right, sweet. So this car's gone through a big overhaul as far as the footwork, like from the tires to the suspension and the uh, wheels. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your tire size and your wheel choice? Yeah, uh, wheels are SSR Type C, 16 by 7 plus 30, and they're wrapped in RE71s. Uh, and then suspension-wise, BC Racing Coilovers BR Series, so the lowest one. Um, and then other suspension components, uh, all new polyurethane bushings, and I repainted all the suspension components underneath. So you've changed every bushing? <laughs> every single one. There's no old bushing in this car. Yes, every even bushing. the shifter bushings, I've put uh, even new even solid ones. Bushings. Sweet. Yeah. So it should handle really nice. Um, I'm excited to go take it out for a drive. All right, so I'm here uh, test driving the AW11. I would say the first thing that I noticed is uh, the visibility is really good, like way better than any car I've ever driven as far as like visibility and I really like the seating position of these stock seats. Um, I like to sit up high so if you guys like to sit low maybe not for you but we're gonna go take it here on a windy road and I'm just gonna test it out a bit not push it that hard but we'll just get a feel. First thing I noticed too is the steering rack is a little bit slow um, but that's pretty common for older cars. But 4AG sounds sick.
job on that. And, uh, I guess what alignment did you get again? Uh, I guess zero toe in the front, uh, negative. <laughs> Alright, let's do negative, it again. Negative one. Oh, Just yeah. negative six. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, zero toe up front and then... Negative one front. Negative right. one camber front. Why yeah. did I ask you? Because I told you this line. I know, so you should have just gave it to me. Yeah, I gave him the alignment. It's negative <laughs> one up front. I don't know shit. Negative two rear and then I said point two rear toe in, right? Yeah. And that keeps the rear planted in, in line, so... Yeah, what right? Amelia says. Yeah, it's kind of like my MRS is one, but a little bit more mild for street because Jude doesn't go... No, we'll just take you here. Nani? Nani?